Well, welcome to another history video. This is probably my last one in this, I'll call it blueprint series, where we're investigating the blueprints of the church. And for this one, this is actually the first church building that was built. So the per first church building of Christ Church. Now, the church started in the basement of the parsonage. That actually was the first building on the campus of Christ Church. But the first building is this building, which presently we call Crafts Hall and correspondingly Youth Hall beneath it. And you can see when they had this entire property was already purchased as a single parcel, but they already had in mind when they had the blueprints of this building, they already had in mind a future addition on this side, which um, changed and expanded quite a bit beyond this schematic and a future edition on this side, which also changed um, quite a bit from these original sort of dotted lines of envisioning what it might be. So, nonetheless, even when they built this, and these blueprints, as you can see, are from 1950. So when they designed this in 1950, they already had in mind these two expansions, which more or less within a decade or so, within 10 years, this one was already in place very shortly after, and this one was in the designing phase within basically 10 years of this. So in between the parsonage and the building, they had this sense of a parking and play area of what would be when this building was built. So there are three pieces or three parts of this blueprint that I wanted to share with you. This part represents youth hall or fellowship hall. So this is the basement of the church. And I tried to get a sense as to what the design or layout would be. And it took me a little bit, but I finally got there. This, which is the kitchen that served this fellowship hall or this youth hall, is where the stage is presently. So that's where the stage is. The boiler room is the boiler room that's what provided heat to the church was off, if you were facing the stage today, to the left of the stage. And then to the right is the staircase, which is still there, as well as these storage areas. So in the rear of the fellowship hall, or this youth hall in the basement, there were bathrooms, there was a coat closet and some storage, and one classroom, in another coat hanging area, uh, and the stairs. And these are still the present stairs to get down to Youth Hall from that side entrance. This part has changed quite a bit. Uh, and obviously the kitchen is no longer here. When the next addition went on, a kitchen got added over here. But that is what the original basement area was designed as. Now, two more pictures here in this blueprint series. So this represents the actual sanctuary. So this is present day Crafts Hall. So you came in, the entrance was here through this vestibule, and then you went up the stairs into the narthex. This is where all our stairs are, or excuse me, our chairs are presently stored, and through the doors into the nave of the church, present-day Crafts Hall. This back storage closet was the pastor's room. So I'm going to guess the pastor's study was this space in the rear, which is a, a storage closet. Um, we have uh, kettle drums and various things for the Greater Buffalo Youth Orchestra, as well as our own storage in this closet. The hall itself has not changed, other than the windows on this side got covered by the addition that came in. The windows on this side are still still present. And obviously the chancel is no longer there. That's the gathering space that is in Crafts Hall. The stairs still are there. I think it's just this single staircase or this single staircase as some of it changed as the addition was added here. Um, but overall, the general layout of Crafts Hall has remained relatively unchanged um, since since it was brought about. So there's one other part of this, let me find it here, that I was going to share with you today in these blueprints, M1, there it is. 
So again, this is Crafts Hall, the nave coming into Crafts Hall, the chancel up here. Sacristy is here off to the side, so this would be an area where uh, vestments and the paraments for the chancel and communion elements, those things would be prepared in that space. Again, the pastor's room, the vestibule and entrance that is there. The upper part of the nave really, I believe, represents the upper room chapel. So it's just sim simply called a group room here. This closet is still here. This storage is still kind of behind the altar that is in the upper room chapel. But that's what this is. And storage and loft is simply the high areas there on either the left and right of the chancel area. And over here is the basement area or youth hall. So these are the three stories of the church, if I can put it that way in a single schematic. So there you have the original church building. Not a lot has changed. I mean, design and some of the layout of the rooms themselves as other additions were made. But Crafts Hall remains relatively unchanged as it was originally thought of. What I find most interesting about blueprints like this one is looking back, they already had, already had a sense of where the future was taking them, or at least had a vision and a hope of what God would do on the corner of Harlem and Saratoga that would lead to future expansion. So really interesting that those who came before us really did have a sense that God was going to do some pretty amazing stuff. And I have to think that uh, if we can ourselves connect with the Holy Spirit, then we'll have equally just as uh, amazing of a thought as to where the future will take us that others will look years from now and go, oh my gosh, they saw, they already knew where, where things would go if they continued to listen and follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. So the original church, the original building of Christ Church. I hope you've enjoyed this journey through the blueprints. There will be some other history forthcoming, so stay tuned, and I look forward to bringing it to you.